In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a Mac to create a bootable Windows 11 USB for installing Windows on a PC. This method only takes a few minutes and it works on any Apple Silicon or Intel Mac. The first step is to download a Windows ISO from the Microsoft website. There will be a link to this page down in the video description. Scroll down and find the section labelled Download Windows 11 Disk Image. Click in the drop down box and select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for x64. Then click the confirm button below. Now click in the drop down box, choose your language and click confirm again. After a few seconds the download button should appear and you can click 64 bit download to begin downloading the ISO to your Mac. Next we need to format the USB drive that we'll be using for the installer. Take a USB drive at least 8GB in size and plug it into your Mac. Now run Disk Utility by going to Launchpad, Other and then Disk Utility. Look for your USB drive under External in the pane on the left and click on it to select it. Then click on Erase at the top. In the window that pops up change the format to MS-DOS FAT, choose a name for the drive I'm just going to call my USB and the scheme should be left as GUID Partition Map. Now click on Erase and the drive will be formatted. When it's finished click on Done and then you can quit Disk Utility. Now we need to download the app that we'll be using to write the Windows image to the USB drive. For this I'm using WinDisk Writer. Go to the WinDisk Writer GitHub page which will be linked down below and click under Releases on the right. This will bring you to the download page for the most recent version. At the time of making this video that's version 1.3. You'll see that there are two versions. If you're running macOS Sequoia or earlier, download WinDisk Writer 1.3. And if you're running Tahoe, you'll need WinDisk Writer v1.3 underscore Tahoe. Click on the file name to save it to your downloads folder. Once it's downloaded, open your downloads folder and double click on the zip file to decompress it. Then drag the WinDisk Writer icon into your applications folder. Now the final step is to run WinDisk Writer and use it to create the USB. Navigate to your applications folder and scroll down until you see WinDisk Writer. Double click on the icon and you'll see a pop up saying that macOS couldn't verify that WinDisk Writer is free of malware. To bypass this, open System Settings, then click Privacy and Security on the left and scroll down to the bottom. You'll see a message saying that Windows Writer was blocked to protect your Mac. Click on Open Anyway to the right and then click Open Anyway again in the window that pops up and finally enter your macOS password and click OK. Now Windows Writer will run. Click on Choose next to Windows Image Navigate to your Downloads folder and select the Windows ISO you downloaded earlier. Then click on Open. And then under Target Devices select your USB drive in the drop down list. If you don't see your USB drive go to the Debug menu and select Scan All Whole Disks. Then your USB drive should appear. To begin writing Windows to the USB click on Start at the bottom and then click start again in the confirmation window. Now macOS will ask you if you want to allow Windisk Writer to access files on a removable drive. Click on allow and Windisk Writer will begin writing the USB. This will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your drive and the speed of your Mac. On my M4 Mac Mini it took about 6 minutes from clicking start to having the finished USB. When it's done you'll see a message saying image writing successfully completed and you can just click on OK. On your desktop now you'll see two disks. Right click on each one and select eject in the menu. Now you can safely remove the USB drive from your Mac, plug it into your PC and use it to install Windows 11. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.